Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and this video is here to show you how to use the Google URL Builder. Um, what, what the Google URL Builder basically does is it helps you add some information to the end of your URL um, in order to help uh, Google Analytics identify what the actual source of the click was, it was and where it was coming from. So I'll give you an example. Um, when, when you go to Google.com and you search for a, a URL and you click on a, a paid ad or an organic, Google understands where that came from. If you clicked on an ad, Google will attribute that to what we call the, the paid search uh, group or paid search channel. Um, if you click on organic result, it'll go to organic. If you click on, uh, if you have a link that you're visiting from, let's say, a Facebook profile, and you click, Google will understand that that is a social Facebook click, and then your website will know where it came from. The problem, uh, the reason why we actually need the URL builder is uh, Google doesn't always understand where your click is coming from, where your visitor is coming from. And two uh, of the best examples that it doesn't understand are uh, one, email, emails. So if you run a newsletter and you send an email and you have a link in that email that someone clicks to go to your website, Google doesn't know where that is. It doesn't know, it doesn't have control over your uh, email client uh, you're using Outlook or something like that. So uh, what it actually does, if, if it doesn't know, it typically adds it to the direct. It thinks that you just typed it in your browser, www.yourdomain.com, um, or to your specific uh, file, uh, page, excuse me. So um, what we need to do is that in order to uh, help with your marketing efforts, help identify what you're doing and where you're actually bringing your users from or where you're actually asking your users to visit you from, uh, if you use a, a URL builder, you'll be able to help determine and help monitor better your efforts. So for example, uh, if you sent uh, 100 emails to all of your customers and uh, 10 of them clicked and you know some of them bought, if you don't tag it with the URL builder, you will think that just these people actually um, you know, just typed in your, your domain and bought from you and that's it. You won't know if email marketing is, is actually helpful for you because you won't have that data. Um, so that's, that's one example, email marketing. Another one is sometimes you actually reach out to uh, specific websites or blogs and you actually pay them for advertising. You pay them to put your ad on their homepage or put ad on one of their content pages, some kind of banner or some kind of ad. And so um, if you have multiple types of ads, one on the home page and one on their footer and one, you know, different areas, you won't know who clicked on what. You won't know which ad is effective. And so if you uh, use the URL builder and you send this newly crafted URL on, and you, you send it to the webmaster that you're actually paying for and tell them to specify one for the header and one for the footer, you'll be able to distinguish which one is working for you and you can actually pause the rest or save your money or put more money on the ones that are working. Okay, great. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, what we want to do is just show you how we do it. Okay, um, so what you're going to do is just go to the URL builder, just go to Google, uh, search for Google URL builder. And you're going to use this form that they have here. So let's say you're running an ad to um, for an email marketing. Okay. Okay, two. Let's let's choose a page right here. Okay, let's go to our resources page. Okay, so now I want to send people in my email to view my resources page, for example. Right. So in the URL, I plug in the URL that I want people to visit. Now the second thing is I'm looking at my source. So you're going to identify a few different inputs so you can identify what what you're trying to distinguish. Okay, so the source would be, let's say, newsletter, okay, one. The medium would be obviously email. And these are not a campaign term and campaign content is not mandatory. And this applies more for paid ads and, and advertising, but for email, it doesn't apply. So I'm going to go down here to campaign name and I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, email, uh, email from video. Okay, because we're creating this video, right? 
So now if I click on submit, I'm going to get a new URL right here. Okay. And if you can see this URL, it's pretty big, right? So it's my entire URL. And at the end, I added uh, the tool added a question mark in the source, UTM source equals newsletter. And uh, the medium is email. And the campaign is called email from video. So what you want to do is uh, you want to take that whole URL and just plug it into your uh, your browser and just check that it works. Check that it uh, this end of the URL doesn't mess up anything. Maybe your web server doesn't like these kind of additional dynamic um, fields. So I hit enter. If everything looks OK, which it does, it looks fine. So now I'm going to go to analytics. I'm going to show you something. OK. Let's go home. OK, so I'm going to go to the account right now. OK, and um, what I'm going to do is go to the real time and show you what, what Google is seeing. This is just our view that we just refreshed. OK, I'm going to go to traffic sources. OK. Let's see what happened here. Okay, here. So I go to traffic sources. Now I see the email is the medium is email, the source is newsletter one. And if I click on it, I'll be able to see. So um, that means that my URL is working now. People can see this URL. It's still the same uh, visit, but it added all this information. So Google now knows what to do. So now I can take this URL and in my newsletter, I can just put it as a link and people will click and then I'll be able to identify um, my sources correctly so it doesn't um, so it basically tracks these visitors correctly and then I can make conclusions based on that um, so th that's the idea of this URL builder um, it's very useful and it's very important to segment the different uh, visitors based on the efforts that that are important for you okay thank you for listening to this video